welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Christy and I'm coming to you today with another meal plan and grocery haul. After a very successful week I had this last week on plan, I am just really motivated to have another great week this week. So if you are new to my channel, I currently follow the My WW Blue program, but I do give points for purple and green as well as blue. My recipes on my website, planningushealthy.com, also list the points for everything. And on my website, I also have the nutritional value for everything. So if you're not following WW and just want the nutritional values, then that is there as well. So I will share with you what I have planned this week. I don't have this actually finalized yet. The recipes that I do have will be listed down in the description box below. If they're not there, then they will be there by the time I do my meal prep video, which usually comes out on Tuesday nights. So for my snacks, I typically have the same snacks each week. Sugar-free pudding is two points, snack factory pretzels with queso. That I've been kind of toggling back and forth. I'll have it one week, and then one week I will, I'll just do like celery and a laughing cow cheese wedge. So this week I am going to be having those again. And I use the queso dip from Aldi, the salsa, salsa cone queso. I think it's called Mama Casita brand. And it's three points for the pretzels, one point for the queso. You get uh, two tablespoons of the queso for one point. And then I will be having fruit. I had a really good cantaloupe last week, so I'm going to have cantaloupe again this week. And yogurt, I usually sometimes, I just keep yogurt on there because it's kind of like a go-to thing if I just need something real quick. I will grab a yogurt, that's two points. For breakfast prep, I have not made my pancake bakes in a while, so I am going back to a pancake bake. And I am going to do my blueberry pancake bakes this week. The, those are three points on all programs. So if you don't see anything to the left, then that means the point value that I have for blue is the same for all programs. So as you can see, like my salmon, I'm listing it's two. That means it's two for me, which is blue. And then over to the side, I'll list purple and green. So blueberry pancake bakes, three points. And I'm going to do some chicken breakfast sausage with those. And that, I think I'll just do one link, so that will be one point for that. So that'll be a four-point breakfast. I'll do sugar-free syrup with it, which will be zero points. And then every morning, I always have two cups of coffee, which is two points. It's one point for each coffee. I just used, um, like, Splenda in it and the Great Value Non-Dairy Creamer. I use eight grams in each cup. So that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So I don't normally prep breakfast or lunch past Wednesday. So Thursday, I will be doing Fiber One cereal with unsweetened almond milk for two points. And then Friday, I think I'm just going to do yogurt and fruit for two points. And then for lunch prep this week, this one I don't have finalized. If you saw my meal plan video last week, you may remember that I ordered the 2% Velveeta and they were all out of the 16 ounce box, so they gave me a 32 ounce box. And I don't want that to go to waste, so I am going to make something with it. I'm just not sure what. I'm thinking some type of cheesy pot pie. I thought about like a cheesy chicken and broccoli bake, but I, did, I had chicken for meal prep last week, so I'm just not sure. I haven't quite decided on that, uh, so that's why I have the question mark on there. All right, so that's gonna be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday I'll just do a chicken salad. I was gonna do it on an Olay Extreme Wellness Wrap, but we're gonna be having subs that night, so I decided to just do it like on a lettuce cup or better lettuce. And that will be two points. And then Friday I'll just do a turkey and laughing cow cheese wrap. That's basically just turkey and a laughing cow cheese wedge, a spread on an Olay Extreme Wellness Wrap. And then I just put vegetables and sometimes a little bit of Olive Garden light, light salad dressing. So for dinners this week, <laughs> it's no surprise, basil parmesan salmon. That is my salmon recipe that I have pretty much every week. I've seen a lot of you posting to me on my Facebook page and posting in um, on comments on YouTube that you have tried it and absolutely love it. So it is that is just so good so that is two points for blue two points for purple nine points for green and then i'm going to have my ready rice with that for three points for a half a cup and i'll do just some broccoli 
four zero. I may do, I may put a little bit of queso on the broccoli. Sometimes I do that for a point. Tuesday night, I am doing garlic herb pork tenderloin with roasted potatoes, carrots, and gravy. I haven't made this in a while. Uh, this one used to be my husband's favorite a long time ago. So that's 10 points on blue, 10 points on green, and 6 points on purple. And then I am going to do feta crusted chicken with buffalo sauce. And I'm going to pair that with ranch squash and zucchini. So I don't, I right as of the time of this video, I don't have my recipe on the website yet because I haven't quite created this one yet, but I pretty much know what's going to be in it. So I've got the points ready for it. And it looks like for the whole plate, for even the ranch squash and zucchini and the buffalo sauce, everything, it's going to be seven points for blue, seven points for purple and nine points for green. And then, as I said, Thursday, I'm just going to do a Publix or Subway sub. And usually those are about 12 points when I do those. And I think Friday I'm going to do Stromboli's. I have some uh, Faya yogurt that I had bought for the breakfast prep this past week. So I'm going to do make some two-ingredient dough and probably do Stromboli's in the air fryer. And my Stromboli's come out to 12 points. And I do have those on my website i change them up different though i put different things in each you know each time i make them i make them different i put different things in it like for as far as vegetables but i will put the link to the one i have on the website and you can kind of get an idea and then tweak it from there so that's what i have planned for the week and the only grocery haul this week that i had was Publix, which i actually went to went and got myself so i'll show you that next all right guys so here is my Publix haul so I don't normally get my meat at Publix, um, not all the time, because it's usually cheaper at Aldi. Um, for example, the chicken breast there, $4.99 a pound. <laughs> That's crazy. But to save me a trip, I did get it. Um, and th the only reason is because this was BOGO. So that's the only way that I will buy that. I will not pay that price. All right, so I will show you what I got. This whole haul was $115. Uh, so I did, picked up some Diet Coke. I know I mostly drink water. I've been really trying to cut back on my Diet Coke, but I do have one a night once in a while, maybe like every other night. So I got some carrots, some squash and zucchini, some blueberries, some broccoli. I like these broccoli florets that are already cut up. Some mini cucumbers. Those are so good. And cantaloupe. The cantaloupe was good this week, so I did get another one. And those are all zero points. I needed some more garlic salt. Imagine that. I ran out of garlic. And then zero on purple is the potatoes. I got some red potatoes and some honey gold. Uh, these were BOGO, so I got two of those. Um, some fat-free feta crumbles. Those are zero points for one ounce or one point for three ounces. Some uh, El Fresco country-style chicken breakfast sausage. That's one point per link. And then I got some top sirloin steak. This is such good steak, top sirloin steak at Publix. It is so good. Um, I think Walmart sells it too, but it I just love it. I love it. I don't even we don't even have to marinate it. We usually just put like some seasonings on it and my husband grills it. It's so good. And that is five points for four ounces. I got some salmon and on blue and purple, it's zero. But on green, I wanted to give you the points for green. So, from what I came up with, the farmed for raw, there's two different ones. There's raw and there's cooked, so you have to watch for that. So, the farmed for raw is six points for four ounces, and the wild is three points for four ounces. And then I got some Canadian bacon. This is one point. The serving size on this is actually three slices, but you can actually have four slices for one point. Some pork tenderloin, that's two points for four ounces. I picked up some 100% whole grain spaghetti. This is really good. I don't usually like whole grain pasta because I don't care for the taste of it, the texture. Like sometimes it's almost like cardboard to me. Uh, but this kind is really good. I really, I really like this kind. I just realized I got the spaghetti and not the angel hair. I usually get the angel hair, but that's okay. 
So this is six points for a serving, which is two ounces dry. So the way that I measure my spaghetti is I just weigh it. I put it on a scale, weigh out the two ounces, and that's it. And on purple, this is zero. And then I got my Snack Factory sugar-free pudding. Those are two points. I picked up these bars. My husband used to eat these a lot, and now that he's in maintenance and can kind of add back some points, uh, he asked me to pick these up for him again just to have as a snack. These are really good. They're uh, Fiber One protein bars, and these are five points per bar. Um, they're like caramel and chocolate and nut. They're really good. And then my Ready Rice Long Grain and Wild. That is three points for half a cup. And... Then, like I said, I got chicken breast, and that's zero for purple and blue, or two points for three ounces on green. And then I got some spaghetti sauce. This is my favorite kind of spaghetti sauce. I know there's different kinds that are probably less points, less sugar, but the Prego traditional, we just absolutely love this. And this is three points for half a cup. And then I got some pork gravy for the night that we have the pork tenderloin because I'm not going to be making my own gravy. So um, this one is actually one point. The serving size is a quarter of a cup, which is one point. But I just kept toggling it, and you can actually have up to three quarters of a cup for one point. So once you get to three quarters, then it becomes two points. And then I picked up my, they had my pretzel crisps, on the Snack Factory brand on BOGO. So I picked up four of those, stocked up on those, so I'll be good with those for a while. And I actually didn't have too many of those this past week. I ended up doing celery, so I'm going to go back to those this week. And those are three points for 28 ounces, which is one serving. So that's it for my grocery haul for this week. So if you're new, I hope that you'll consider subscribing. Make sure to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you're notified anytime I upload new content. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. I'm Christy, and I am planning us healthy.